What's up everybody? It's Nick uh, coming back at you after a long break, I suppose. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, we've got a lot of metal stuff that we've been bringing in recently and I'm pretty excited to show you. Uh, the first two I'm just going to showcase um, two bands with all the uh, albums that we brought in of theirs and then I'll start getting into some individual albums that we have. Um, first off is one of my favorite folk metal acts, uh, Falkenbach. Uh, we brought in uh, four of their albums, starting with their latest one, Asa. Uh, great album. Uh, we got Oknefna uh, Tersvartai. I'm probably butchering that. I couldn't tell you how to say it, but that's how I'm saying it. Great album. Uh, heralding the Fireblade. Uh, I mean, it goes without saying that all of these are great without saying it. Uh, and Tirida, uh, this is actually the album of theirs that I got into them on and love every second of it. Picked one up for myself, got an extra one for the shop. The next band we have is The Ocean, um, compiled of members all around the world but uh mostly germany the precambrian album one of my favorites again this is the album that probably got me into them uh, very excited to have it here and then we got an earlier album fluxian uh, heliocentric and anthropocentric, as you could probably guess if you aren't familiar, those two kind of go hand in hand with each other. Uh, now on to the solo albums, we have Lizard. Uh, these guys are really awesome. They're a very straight up rock and roll band. Um, really dig the stuff. This is an album called Eroded. It's their newest one off of Pelagic Records. Uh, Pelagic Records is actually created by some of the members from the ocean so um, they pick some top-notch acts to fill their breed fill their uh, label and I like the stuff I've heard uh, ambush is a Swedish um, old-school heavy metal band from southern Sweden uh, this is their album infidel and it's truly awesome this is uh, I've been listening to this a few times and some of their older stuff and I really can't get enough of it so come check it out. Uh, next we have Tesseract's newest release. Uh, this is actually from their live stream that they did uh, late last year. Um, the thing I like about it is it's live but there's no audience, there's no talking so it's basically a greatest hits with a lot of my favorite songs of theirs. Um, and it sounds very exceptional. Um, highly suggest picking this up. We got two or three copies of this left, so uh, come check that one out. And then last but not least, uh, we got the new Death Haven. Um, I've never had actually been a fan of these guys, but uh, you know what? The Infinite. Infinite Granite album that they just put out uh, is something totally different than they've ever put out. So they flip-flopped. I mean, it's very avant-garde, very um, shoegaze, atmospheric, black metal, um, but uh, a lot heavier on the clean vocals than the uh, more black metal vocals. But I mean, everything else about this album, I mean, it's phenomenal. I can't actually get enough of it probably gonna pick up a copy of for my own and uh, we have a few here so come check it out that's all I got for you guys today um, hope you like some of the stuff you see we have it in the store haven't put it online yet but hoping to do that in the next few uh, days or so I'm trying to get get out some kinks on a new website so once that's done you'll start seeing these things pop up um, but uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good one.